This is a review for exam number one. Remember to bring in this homework assessment page to turn in before exam number one. You want to include this cover page here and also make sure you've completed all of this which, atta which is attached the first quarter review and also the three homework sets and uh, your two in class. These are the things that we completed in class so that will be really easy and also there's video help for all of these well except for homework zero which was the Icarus project. To review for the final exam it's best to look over these right here and print maybe blank copies of these out and do them and redo them until you get comfortable with these example problems. Also review the video solutions and that may help as well. So looking at uh, this attached document, I want to make sure that I can work, that you can work all of those. So I'll go through each of them right now. On the day of the exam, I will give you this equation sheet, which has the chapter 11 gas laws and the chapter 12 uh, rate processes equation for heat, fluid, flow, and diffusion. So I might refer back to this page as we're working these problems. This is what we did in class so far. We identified the different regions of the phase diagram, solid, liquid, vapor, or gas, and plasma, and the triple point and critical point. On the exam, I'll ask you what these transitions are, however. So make sure that you not only memorize the different regions of the phase diagram, but are able to tell, for example, that this one right here is going from solid into liquid, which would make it melting, be able to identify the name of that process, and the name of that phase change. When you work in these kinds of word problems, you want to identify key words in the statement. Here, expands, just talking about volume. Adding air means that you're changing the number of moles in the container. And then you look for the equation uh, from this equation sheet that involves the number of moles in volume. That turns out to be the mole proportionality law. So then that makes that the answer to this problem, C. On this next problem, it has pressure and the number of moles being changed. So the best answer is actually going to be the ideal gas equation because none of the other ones fit. What I'll do right now is I'll position the, this, the rest of this page so that you can pause the video for a moment, underline the keywords, make some marks, and mark the correct answers. So pause the video there if you need to. Going on to the next page. Problem number two deals with a weather balloon, roughly spherical, uh, allowing it to climb an altitude, and because of the decrease in pressure, the balloon will expand. This is uh, described by Boyle's Law. And we'll look back over on our equation sheet, which we'll have available on exam day. As the pressure changes, the volume changes. So that's the equation we want to use to solve this problem. We first start out by calculating what the volume of this balloon is at uh, ground level. So here you want the radius. Uh, you'll have to take uh, the diameter that's given here, divide by 2, cubit, multiply by pi, and multiply by uh, 4, and divide by 3. That's the volume of a sphere um, that typically I would give you in uh, the statement of the problem. It's more about learning how to apply these equations and how to do unit analysis. So calculate a number, show your work on this. You're uh, going to have to have answers on your homework and on this assignment here to get full credit for your homework assessment. Uh, by the way, that's what that means on the first page, homework assessment. I'm making sure that you're neat, complete, and organized and that you have them in order in a professional way. Make sure you use pencil on these problems as well. Uh, as an engineer would. Here is the equation for Boyle's Law. Pressure, uh, the initial pressure over the final pressure is equal to the final volume over the initial volume. We're looking for the volume at the second height, at the higher altitude. So you multiply both sides by V, and you get this. Make sure that, uh, well, I guess it's given in Pascal's. Okay, we don't have to worry about that right there. Um, well, uh, so here is the initial pressure up here, and then what do we do about the final pressure? Uh, it says it's one-fifth of what it was before. So the final pressure right here is going to be one-fifth of this one. So you have to do a, a calculation to find P2. 
V1 is given over here. So you're going to get another answer for the second volume. And this one should be greater than that one up there. The balloon should expand. In fact, weather balloons expand so much they burst and then uh, they have a parachute on the payload so that they come down to the ground slowly and don't injure anybody accidentally. Down at the bottom they're asking you to figure out what the new diameter of the balloon is based on this volume over here. If the volume 2 is also 4 thirds pi r cubed, but it's volume 2 and radius 2, you multiply both sides by 3, divide both sides by 4 pi, and then take the cube root. Um, you have to kind of forgive me a little bit about taking too many steps at one time. So if you need more steps uh, on the exam or even right now, go ahead and take those mathematical steps to show that the new radius is equal to the cube root of 3 times the final volume over 4 pi. Another way to look at this, if you can't find the cube root in your calculator, what you want to do is raise that to the one-third power. It's the same thing. The cube root is the same as raising something to the one-third power. Okay, next page.